day eight of the World Championships and uh, it kicked off pretty hectically to be honest. Team Georgia turned up unexpectedly, Team Italy, Team China. In fact, Lasher right now is wearing the Wet Cast t-shirt, which is probably a good opportunity to remind you guys if you want to get some cool stuff for Christmas, you need to order like quick uh, straps, wraps, belts, tape, all of that sort of stuff. So, um, blocks, go ahead and do that. I'll drop a link down below if you want to get your Christmas gifts. Um, so, Lasher, we'll start with him. He worked up uh, in the, well, he did a muscle snatch double at 130 kilos to start with. This is pretty classic for a second sort of heavy-ish day. He then did up to 200 kilos in a no foot snatch. So he has two technical variations now, outside of just normal snatch. He does a no hooks and a no foot. Both of them really just trying to promote his use of the upper body a little bit more because he has so much power up. It's about how much, how quick can he get himself down. So 200 kilos uh, for two singles? Yeah, two singles. Then up to 220 kilos in the clean and jerk, which again, standard. He never pushes that second session above 220, I don't think. Then we had over here Team China. I got a camera on everyone to start with because I didn't know what was going to happen. Li Wen Wen worked up to 95 kilos in the snatches. I thought maybe she was going to go heavy, but then she stripped it. But we did have some other heavy sessions. <laughs> Wang Zhu Yu, who's lived in right now, she snatched all the way up to 120 kilos. She's an 81. Uh, ridiculous pull. Uh, maybe the most impressive pull in Team China, to be honest. So 120 kilo snatch there. Lee Da Yin, who has gone, uh, he snatched up to 150 kilos. Power snatch 140. His pull is just sickening. Uh, and then he did some like clean pulls up to 240 kilos, something like that. Also, Hacker McCritchin, who's behind you right now, uh, don't worry about turning the camera, he gave me an ice cream this morning, which was very friendly of him. So I got an ice cream with my coffee, which is great. Uh, what else did we have? Uh, one of the Chinese 67s snatched up to 100 kilos, one of the 71s up to 105. Uh, Laura Dana was in, we didn't film her because she was just doing a standard pulls and squats, she's over there now. Marin Rogu was in, he was also not going heavy. Uh, so, but I mean a lot of athletes, we just got some pulls over there. Uh, so yeah, a good start to the day. And then by the time you're watching this, uh, it's only one A session today, it's the women's 64s. Uh, we've got a couple of Chinese athletes in there and based on how they look today, they're going to do brilliantly well. Uh, then the day after that, we get to see the 71s, which are super competitive. Uh, you know, Toma, the two Americans, uh, Chinese, uh, and then the men's 81s. Ooh, that's going to be good. We finally get to see uh, if Li Dain, if she's young, can do the unthinkable. Here's Wang Shu Yu just getting into final accessories, the clean and jerk. This is a snatch day for her. Uh, anyway, that's it, so we'll catch you on the next session.
Okay, quick session there. We saw Lesman Paredes from Bahrain uh, work up to a 195 kilo clean and jerk for a few singles. He then did some front squats at around 215, I think it was. Matty Rogers went heavy uh, again in the clean and jerk today. She hit 135, then went for 140. I think she missed the jerk the first attempt, then made it the second time, and it looked great. So Matty's clearly in good shape. And then we saw these crazy people turn up. Um, so we had Team South Korea, uh, the, the heavier lifters finally arrived. So I got to film them. I was excited because I got to film the two supers. So Park Hye Jong, the young teenager who's just killing it right now. Uh, and then Sun Young Hee, who is a reigning world champion. <laughs> Plus the Olympian in the 76s. Uh, so all in all, really fun to see them. Um, I think that was it. I'm gonna pop in there now because I have a feeling that Rahamat's gonna set a world record in the B session. I've been saying for ages, if he doesn't, I'll be devastated. But if he does, I'm gonna look like a hero. And if he doesn't, you won't know because I'll cut this out, so it doesn't matter. We'll see you there. And I hope that Xu Ziyong is watching from his hotel room here in Colombia watching as his world record disappears. He needs to see someone uh, challenge him so that he can really push himself to the next level. And I think this is the guy. He's the reigning world champion. And here he is, 200 kilos. Yeah, normally a pretty happy-go-lucky guy. He is completely focused here. Wow. And he gets a bounce that time, Much that's going to help him. Can he hold it? Can he hold it? 200 kilos. Wow. It is a new <laughs> world record. Oh He's my word. It. He cannot believe it. What an incredible moment for Indonesia. His father on the other side of the platform is. Is he going <laughs> to give us the flex? <laughs> Looks Will he give so us the happy. double bicep? Here it comes. Here, Here it comes. And there, there we it go. Is. It's the double bicep. Max, when was the last time we saw someone go for more than one kilos over the world record in a lift? You know, this whole competition, we've seen people tying numbers, taking numbers that are seemingly conservative. And then here, out of the B session, he comes out. <laughs> He's going to lift it off his legs. To, Look He's given everything he has. His wow. father has to carry him off the platform. What a statement. He looked back at the record board because it's a live scoreboard. He looked back to watch his name appear on the record books there, 200 kilograms.